Hello, and welcome back to the world of tomorrow! And in this level, we are gonna get the level crystal in Future Frenzy. So what major obstacles do we have to contest with this time? Looks like conveyor belts, uh, uh, electric barriers, and more TNT crates. Yes, these laser barriers will be quite formidable. In addition to the escalators that seem to be going out of control and also can be in different directions depending on which one you are walking on, that nitro crate is one to make one shit their pants as well as suddenly being obliterated into tiny bits by mysterious orbic objects that are floating above the ground. And uh, I did want to complain that this is one of those levels that may be presenting a, uh, a bit of a mystery for those of us who have not found the center platform that takes you to the last split in the game. The hidden split that is blocked off by the time relics in order to access some of the very, very late game levels. I don't think Future Frenzy's got a level warp in it. No, it is. It is. So here's so here's the situation with 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 Future Frenzy and and how appropriately named it is because we're talking about events that have not yet happened yet. One of those events is getting the is meeting the gold relic threshold in the number of gold relics you obtain from the levels in order to unlock the secret entrance into future frenzy and by that secret entrance you get the hidden gem that is mysteriously blocked off from you and does not appear to be anywhere because there are no gem platforms there's no death platforms or anything and also a dearth of boxes that also seem to be missing from the level entirely both of these will become available after you get enough gold relics to unlock the, the hidden entrance Ah, uh, all right. Although, in hindsight, now that I realize it, um, as long as you complete the time relic in Future Frenzy first, which means you have to do the level twice, um, and you do not necessarily have to unlock the last split of the game, although you would have to be engine because the game forces you to fight the level boss after you get all the crystals in his area, then all you have to do is come back even before you go to split five, get the secret entrance, provided you know that that's a thing, and you will be able to get the gems before you start any of the last five levels of the game. So that is a thing. I did not do it. I had to beat the game first. Yeah, 133 damn boxes, and like, what is it? The last 30 of them aren't, deep, aren't accessible? Yeah, there's about there's about 40 boxes that you will not be able to get, and you will probably be wondering, well, where are they, man? I'm not, I'm not dumb. I'm smart. I'm a bandicoot. I'm smart. I'm happy. That was gambling, Mr. Pass Cloud. how we like it there, there was a bonus platform back there you gotta if, if you're not if you're not watching out for it you will probably miss that bonus platform not that it's well hidden it's just it's it was kind of placed in a weird place because we were not I, I have not yet been primed for walking into the foreground game okay maybe I have been primed for walking into the foreground that's bullshit though And these platforms automatically have you do the tornado spin. Yes, and that's why you do not see any objects like that in prior levels, because then you would have a sneak preview of abilities not yet gained. Wow, it's actually 60 boxes. And we're still missing about 50 boxes. We're missing about 55 boxes. Yeah, fuck Future Frenzy. Okay. Yeah, we will be. We will return in the future. All right, so we're doing uh, so we're doing Tell No Tales next. Dead Coco tells no Soon, tales. Crash Bandicoot will meet again. Uka Uka and Doctor Cortex want me to teach you a lesson. Well, I made a few modifications to my mechanics since our last encounter. <laughs> so back off. 
I'm still convinced that Engine is supposed to be female. I get, I get that he's actually male because he's a because uh, it's not an Igor uh, proxy, but I'm I still think, uh, especially yeah, in the older games, uh, Engine was you know female. I mean, his his voice is a little is a, is a little high register, so I agree that 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 is that is his that is his, that would be his most feminine characteristic. Otherwise, he is just a slob. Evil seagulls. Evil seagulls. They will kill you. Uh, well, um, this is a refreshing start after we did the Hakoka level because this is a level that actually has a linear pathway that you can identify and follow. Right. Because it actually exists. boat going around in circles you see it doesn't match up with the cadence of the original so it's not actually that good of a parody ouch yeah. did that uh okay you win this time repetitive routine rowers i know your game now you want me to visit the isle of the missing two boxes That's a pretty stupid name for an island, honestly. Ouch. Okay, now we are, we are we are out of we are out of masks, and there is a shark. Do not get it. That that shark loves the flavor of bandicoots. It's a bandicoot eating shark. Wait for it to turn around, and let's keep going. Checkpoint. What flavor do you think jo uh, point, 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 Coco's point, point, Jet Ski actually is? What number? What flavor? What flavor? <laughs> well, I mean, she, I mean, the shark does. Uh, I mean, okay, I guess the shark maybe does eat the jet ski too. Uh, I seen one need a rocking chair one time. It probably tastes like motor oil. Ew. Well, I mean. I mean, sharks, they don't, they don't really care what it tastes like. I mean, they're kind of like mice. They, they'll, they'll eat, they'll fucking eat anything. I mean, they'll try. The answer, Mr. Cloud, is you have to hold forward on the jump, and on your control pad in order to dive after a jump. That's how you get that level up. A uh, life, but yeah. One up. One, two, three, You went underneath four, one of those. Five. I did it. I already missed a bunch of boxes because I did not realize there was an area of the map that was on the way far right that also had five boxes. That I will be missing at the end of this run. Ah. Just letting you guys know. We still got the level crystal, though. Uh, uh, no! <laughs> I wonder how many uh, people get seasick playing uh, playing through these levels because the perspective is actually starting to, to uh, ache my eyes slightly. Is it? Is it that? Is it that Coco keeps bobbing up and down? Because I noticed the camera is staying relatively stable. Yeah, but it's actually because of the jet ski that keeps bobbing up and down. Coco's position is fine. It's the jet ski that bothers me. I mean, believe me, this this would be a lot easier to digest if I was doing the Time Relic run, because at least the Time Relic run, I wouldn't be inching around every fucking thing, because there are a lot of hazards in this map. So that's my, that, I can, I can, you, you can, you can blame me for any motion sickness you get from watching this, because I am just trying to survive. Right. Yep, I missed five boxes, and I had no idea where they were, so I decided to cut my losses and decided to return at a later point. Actually, we're returning now. Or I just immediately go back into the level to solve my mistake. Okay, so remember these ramps over there? They go back and forth. Go to this pirate ship over here and get the missing goddamn five boxes so that you can stop hating yourself. Ouch. Oops. That was funny. Let's see that again. Three. Four. Five, I guess. Okay, got it. I got it. There it is. There. 
There's the end of the level. Okay. All right, so you see that? Is that with the power of hindsight, without necessarily having to go to your to everybody's favorite redemption point, the capture card video data, that you too can 100% tell no tale. Sphinxinator returns. Oh yeah, this this fucking level. Alright, so, like I mentioned in the last part, go left for the blue gem platform, go right for the box gem, but, uh, this level has a little surprise waiting for unsuspecting players, especially those of us who are, maybe didn't have to find a few hard-to-get gems in Crash Bandicoot 1. Yes. He's using a flamethrower in, in ancient Egypt. That is probably a bad thing for the for the local peoples. That's dangerous. Don't they realize they can really get hurt? His oil is flammable. You can't actually kill those coffins, for the record. Hey. You, you can. Inside is a mummy, and after you take out the mummy, then yes, that enemy will be defeated. And you can also get a hidden achievement if you get killed by the mummy. Really? I didn't realize that until I played this game now. Yes. Huh. It's quite funny, because I looked at the requirement later as to uh, how you get that achievement. Saying, uh, you just, had, you just gotta die. That's all it says, is just, just die. Ce cease to live. Be dead. <laughs> I, I guess maybe maybe in hindsight I should I could have cut out me going back to the gem the blue gem platform but I mean we did have to see the uh, <clears throat> we did have to see the boxes leading up to here because I didn't go the other way the last time right so it's new in the world of cloud as we as we uh, replay uh, Sphinxinator huh <sighs> Uh, well, I can tell you that I have made solid progress in Sekiro. I made it to... Oops. Squeaky shoes, Bandicoot. I made it to the very last health bar of the final boss of the game. And I did that after grinding up my attack power an additional... Ooh, six points, which requires about 30 skill point level ups. Uh, you said that you were going. For, you said you were going for your fifth attack point, but man, right, right. I, I told you the other day I was going for my fifth one. Well, I got my sixth one too, because I realize that sometimes the best thing to do, instead of ramming your head against the wall, is to take a step moment, is to take a step backward, pull out your magic marker and a piece of paper. Develop a plan for how you will, on your very next attempt, break the wall with your fucking head instead of trying in futility over and over again. Oh, you really ah, want this life. Okay. Yep, yep. The, yep, because the TNT will destroy that one-up box. That's why it's there. <laughs> I have outsmarted you, game. And what else is new in the world of Gerdad while we go through yet another bonus round? Um, not a hell of a lot. I mean, I have been playing through, um, I've been playing through Pokemon Sword. I have officially cleared most of what I want to do in the game. I still want to, I still want to finish up, uh, the rest of the Pokedex, which I don't think I'm actually able to do anymore. Uh, unless there's, uh, someone, unless there's someone around that actually has, uh, that actually has, uh, Galarian Corsola. Yes, uh, I understand that community cooperation has become absolutely essential to getting the modern Pokedex completion. Uh, it, it's been like that since uh, since Gen One, honestly. But to but to be frank, I was hoping that we that we had actually grown out of that uh, grown out of that uh, specifically because uh, like all that I'm missing 
uh, for my uh, for my uh, for my Pokedex. Yeah, ooh, we're still missing four boxes. Damn. Yes. You win this round, Sphinxinator. But we shall return.